welcome back to another episode of Two Idiot Girls. Some of you caught on to the hard grin and intense squid stare that Drew does into the camera every time. That was, was really just funny. About to, I was just about to say, I saw that that uh, story that someone tagged if me If you in. go all the way back, I'm not joking. When, I don't know when we started the woo last year. Me either. And obviously it was in here, but it, yeah. like in the studio. But you go all the way back. I, I'm not joking. She's been doing that every time. <laughs> you know what's funny is? When I started consciously doing it, I realized I think I just like blankly stare while she talks. Like I was like, that's so embarrassing. Like I finished the the smile part and then I just go. <laughs> and so then I said, OK, now I'm going to do it every time just yeah. because. And I've been doing it every single time. <laughs> and I've been waiting for one of you to catch it. <laughs> and then I've also been waiting for one of you to uh, stitch a compilation of all of them. Yeah. Where are, where are the fans at? You guys see you're our fans? You guys are fans? Prove it. Prove I'm it. Just kidding. Get to work. Get to it work. It feels like nobody Why wants to work these days. Quit just lazing around for once. <laughs> Why don't I tell the jokes and you guys put your back into something? Please, something. Why don't you guys earn your keep around this around these parts? I'm just kidding. How are you doing today? Today's Wednesday. Good. Right? Yeah. Okay. Feeling good today. Yeah. Yep. Feeling accomplished. Sure. Busy, busy, busy. Yeah. Got a lot going on. I feel that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about you? Not so good. <laughs> Actually, really bad, but it's okay. I'm fixing it. <laughs> <laughs> that's not true. It is, but that's okay. There's nothing wrong with not being good. No, I meant like, it's not all terrible, but yeah, you haven't been feeling the best. No, there, it's there's nothing wrong with my life. It's yeah. just my brain. So... Yeah. I feel it. Yeah. I'm feeling a little sad, but I'll figure it out. What happens to the best of us? I don't know how I'm supposed to <laughs> use that as a launch pad to keep joking. Uh, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Who am I to tell you how to do your art? You know, that's true. At the end of the day. That is true. Feeling a little boxed in by your, by your, by your vibe killer. I don't care. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I don't care. I know. We're, we're, it's been a strange time. I feel like because. We were so, so, so fucking busy. Not that we've gotten less busy, but it's like we were traveling a lot um, the first half of the year because mm -hmm. we're more than halfway through the year. Dude, Can I was fucking literally that thinking shit? about that yesterday. That's insane. Because I'm moving soon and I cannot believe it's already been a year where yeah, I've been living. Yeah, fucking same, dude. Um, But we were so like on the go, like literally like leaving the house all the time, never fucking home. And I know. Then, like I was thinking about how like we've been in New York, I think four times this year alone. Yeah, we have. Yeah, it was four. That's crazy. That's pretty ridiculous. It is. Yeah. And we went to Vegas once this year. When? For Pro Bowl. In February. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, dude. They were talking about when we went for Billy's birthday last and year. And we went to all over California. We went on tour. We went on tour in January. Yeah, my first Pro time Bowl in San February. Francisco. Yeah, that is your first time, huh? Well, anytime I've been there has been for um, the airport. Like a yeah. layover. Yeah, you've never been like out in the city, though. No, mm -hmm. and I wasn't that time either, so it doesn't <laughs> yeah. really matter. Yeah. I know, it was like an overnight thing. But we did a tour in January. Mm -hmm. Pro Bowl in February. Not the Oscars. Right, yeah. Oh Oscar. yeah, and New York, New York in February. I forgot about New York in February, so that's one. Yeah, the Oscars and New York in uh, for Jonas Brothers in March. We met the Jonas Brothers this year. Yeah, and we saw them in New York this year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh no, we've been in New York three times. April was Coachella. Mm -hmm. May was that we met the Jonas Brothers in May. I yeah, we say. did. We met them in May. Yeah, and we went to New York right before that. Yep, for Captain Morgan. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've been four times this year. Three. This year, or no way. Yeah, because we went for NARS, then we went for the Jonas Brothers. Then we went for Captain Morgan twice. That was the Jonas oh, that was Brothers the same, the same trip. trip. That so was the three. same trip. You're right. I misspoke at the beginning. It was my fault. In the hotel we stayed at in New York when we saw the Jonas Brothers, there was a statue of a woman laying in the there was like a, a pool floating yeah yeah in and, the lobby yeah and it billy, was a statue every yeah. time we walked past that statue billy had to point out how much he thought it looked like alice and janney mm -hmm. it didn't um <laughs> it did look like her actually but i just like didn't think he needed to tell me every time <laughs> we walked past it because like think about how many times you leave a hotel yeah like we left the hotel like 
a dozen At times. At least 50 times. Yeah. And mm-hmm. like each time we walked by, he'd be like, you're telling me that's not her. And I'm not even listening. I'm no. like, are you talking to me? <laughs> and I would be like, no, it's not. And I, that's probably why he kept saying <laughs> it. Because they were irritating each other. It didn't look like her. Because I agreed with him. So I'm like, you don't need to tell me. I agree with you. That was a great hotel, though. Love that hotel. But anyways, we're halfway through. Oh, more than halfway through the year. Yeah. Oh, well, what was I going to say? I was saying, like, we're more than halfway through the year. and We just, just have been so busy for so long. June was really crazy. And now it, everything's kind of dying down for a little bit, which is nice. Which is not really. It's just, like, we're not physically leaving the house as much. Um, as far as, like, travel. Like, for mm-hmm. trips and shit. Um, don't get me wrong. I have been invited on quite a few trips. I just haven't taken them because I... Um, we should have I'm, other stuff going on. I'm writing my book. It's just taking me. Do you forever. have to bring that up every time. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I haven't like I've talked about it at all I'm on the podcast. Kidding. But I literally kind of a big deal, guys. Writing a book apparently <laughs> takes forever. Apparently, yeah. I'm just Who kidding. Knew? I've been working on that since January, but like it's like crunch time now for my book. So I'm um, kind of like hunkering down and trying not to travel the next month and a half because I need to finish my fucking book. Like. It's fucking crazy. I know. I'm excited for you. Yeah. So it's very exciting. Mm-hmm. Um, There will be a book tour. There for sure will. And in multiple countries, for those of you that under, I can't tell you where, but multiple countries will be getting it. Um, And then you'll see my plus 11 on the road. <laughs> like we're all going to be traveling around the world oh, on the shit. book tour. So that's going to be fucking fun. But um, yeah, it's just been the weird like that's what I was uh, what uh, my point in bringing that up is like <laughs> you feeling um kind of weird in a weird space mentally would kind of make sense because it was almost like everything was going so fast and now it's like stagnant yeah so it's almost like it's like such a hard shift so I it can be can be too, disorienting uh I haven't been to therapy in a minute so yeah I have to figure that out and then um there's just things you think you heal fully from and you'll never, ever have to ever forever for the rest of your fucking life ever have to think about. And that's not true. I know. That's why some people were like, I wish I could just rip memories out of my brain. Like, just like, like, like one of those men in black, like, you know yeah. what I mean? And then like, forget everything. Yeah. I feel like. Start it. over. I yeah. Literally that. like yeah. clean slate. But just about one particular person or thing. Yeah. One event. Yeah. Just one event, yeah. one person, one relationship. And I feel like you should be allowed to do it once a year. <laughs> <laughs> just one really good wife. Yeah. I feel that. And I never want to think about it ever again. Yeah. But that's impossible. Alas. Yeah. Why don't they make are. a Black Mirror episode about that? That hmm. would be a great one. How about you blow I would up my like, mind? I will say TM. TM. <laughs> We would like writing credits TM, on that episode. TM, um, you have to bring me in to either star in it or write in it or both. <laughs> Preferably both. You don't even watch that show. I know. That does <laughs> TM. TM. That show is so unbelievably scary. Dude. I can't watch things that are scary. You guys know this about me. No. Everyone I here in the pod knows yeah. that about me. There's only five episodes out of the newest season. And I forgot the seasons usually are like five or six episodes. Yeah. I've only watched three. It's been out for, I think, a month. But it's too spooky. It's too spooky. I yeah. and I Ooky, spooky. have to watch. I watch them by myself. Yeah. So I have to watch them <laughs> during the daytime. And yeah. Only one. But I watched one, and then which was the second one. So if you watched, I haven't finished it, so don't spoil anything for me. But I feel yeah. like the second one was so scary. But Ugh. I guess the ending. And then I immediately binged all of the newest season of Never Have I Ever right after. Love that show. It that's, was so cute. That's one of the few shows I put Dason on. But you only watched season one, so that is true. But I was the person <laughs> who found it. You know, that was when I was uh, that was during COVID when I found that show. Like, um, well, not lockdown. during COVID, but during lockdown specifically. And I was in my trying everything era. And, you know, we all were trying new things. Mm-hmm. Mine was just watching shows that I haven't watched a million times. I know. I keep telling you to watch The Bear. If you guys haven't watched The Bear yet, it's really good. I will get there. I'll just, I'll, it'll be like The Last of Us where I watch it a year after everyone else has already well, seen okay, it. Well, okay, so like The Last of Us, like I told like you watch it that kind of House, in time. That's House of Dragon. House of Dragon, yeah. House Which of I Dragon haven't I, finished. I know I need to finish yeah, that. Yeah, I watched that one a fucking year but after. But if you're like someone who likes to watch show, like, shows that are super overhyped, like I love succession mm-hmm. not everyone's gonna like it yeah but i know everyone will like the bear and ted lasso ted lasso yeah reservation dogs i try to put everyone oh, yeah. on these shows yeah. um, i will say though that i did watch i think you should leave <laughs> yeah i, I was i ones. was so far ahead of all oh of you. and the new season of queer eye i watched that 
that doesn't even count. Like as soon as it comes out, I'm, I'm watching just saying, it. I'm saying for me, that's good. That's sure. something a consistent for me. Dude, you know what I was thinking about? So like, obviously I get excited because we're getting closer to the holidays and the holidays are relatively very fun for our family. Yeah. I love the like, holidays. Oh wait, actually really fun for our family. I'm yeah. just saying. Once we get to my birthday, I'm like, it's on. Yeah. But I was thinking <laughs> closer to the holidays, you know what comes out on Netflix? There's simply no telling. A new season of The Great British Bake Off. Fuck me right up, bitch. <laughs> and I was like immediately excited. Listen to me. <laughs> That's the gospel I spread. Who's your favorite judge? I Paul like Hollywood. Them, you like him more than Prue? Yeah, yeah. Me too. You're right. I love Prue. Don't get me wrong. But Paul Hollywood is more than just the judging. He's the vibes. Yeah. He's like, he's a whole like bit in and of itself speaking of bits <laughs> i thought of another bit the bit that okay do y'all remember wait hold on before Let's i finish get, this before thought. i go down that road let me finish this <laughs> up i like prue more than i liked mary berry but i didn't not i like loved mary, mary berry. berry but like i think prue brings a different energy and that's cool too. too yeah and she looks tall and i love a tall bitch and i love noel please have noel in the comment section actually noel come on two idiot girls <laughs> i love noel he is so fun mm -hmm. and so sweet and I will say, though, on the newer seasons, like when they started putting in uh, this was before Sandy left as a judge. But like when they were putting in those educational bits, they were giving like history lessons on on different bakes and like where they come from. Those, I don't want to watch that. Me either. Hey, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Show me the amateur bakers. I don't want to know the lore behind why a Victorian sponge is called just make it. I don't need to know why colonizers made bread that way. <laughs> I don't need to know that. It's okay. Don't give me that information. I want to see the bakers. I want to see the Wait, amateurs. who won this last season? Not Sandro. I wanted to win. And that's because he's cute. <laughs> <laughs> we love Shabira. I was very happy she won. Yeah. She was she was really cool. Because she was so experimental with her flavors. Which I <laughs> she remember. was just so excited the whole time. Love the energy. Queen. The whole show is like that. Whenever people are like, I need a show that's like, like it's upbeat. It's happy. It like gives you really warm vibes. And then it's like, it's something that takes your mind off stuff. Please watch that fucking show. It's so good. That's what Ted Lasso is too. Yeah. But I feel like this show is different in the sense that like, Ted Lasso is obviously like, it's like a storyline that you follow. Mm -hmm. This one is literally just them baking for fun. Like, it's almost like those games that you get where they're like organizing games. And like then they're the one like, that Alex just sent us? Yes, like the one she just sent us. It's There's called, I think. Cozy Games. Yeah, but the one she's playing, I watched it on TikTok forever, like for yeah. months, um, like since December. And I was like, what game is that? It's called like a little to the left. Yeah. You know where they give you a bunch of tools and you have to like organize them in the drawer? Yeah, like that in a show is Great British yeah big off it like, just makes your brain fuzzy yeah it's just way. like oh, it's just like oh i love it i love to watch and mm -hmm. be like oh my god what are they gonna do okay you guys this is the bit that we for the life of us could not remember wait first okay do y'all remember when we did the bits episode obviously but every episode we talk about fucking family bits but like remember me and days kept saying like there was one that we keep forgetting and we need to like write it down mm -hmm. We had a game night at our house the other night with our cousins, Josh and Mayo and, and uh, Janelle. Mm -hmm. And we were like laughing. We we're just talking stories. And then uh, I think I brought up, you brought I brought up. up the story and I was like, Dace, that's the fucking bit, dude. And she literally wrote it down in her notes. Yeah. So, so we, we wouldn't forget. Because <laughs> we kept forgetting. But anyways, here's the bit. Okay, so it has to do with Donnie, obviously. Yeah. So this is Donnie. He's in, I want to say seventh grade. Yeah, he's middle school. And um, he transferred to a new school. So yeah. he's at a new school. So he's at a new school. And one day I check his grades and he has bad grades. <laughs> and I look and it shows that he hasn't turned in assignments for like, let's just say like three weeks. Yeah. So I'm like, and I check his homework every night. So I'm like, you did all of these. Why didn't you turn them in? He goes, and you oh. guys know, like we're, we're a Samoan family. We're very like like school first family. Like yeah. we, we love, we, we report grades every, every time to my mom, we always have, and we always get good grades. That's like our thing. Yeah. So anyway, so I'm looking at all the assignments and then I ask him to show me. So he's showing me them in his folder. I'm like, why didn't you turn these in? Like he finished them already. But yeah. He didn't Cause I checked them. them. Yeah. And I'm like, why didn't you? So then I find him in his folder. He goes, Oh, I just forgot. Yeah. Turns out he would go to class and he would just be fucking yapping to all his friends and not listen to when he's supposed to turn in stuff. Like he's literally like in class yeah. and he's not <laughs> listening to them go, don't forget to turn in your homework. Like he's just like, ah, blah, 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 like yeah. talking. And then he, the bell rings and he leaves. Yeah. He doesn't turn in his homework.
All right, friends, we're going to take a quick little break with our friends at HelloFresh. So with HelloFresh, you get farm fresh, pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. Take a bite out of summer with HelloFresh from chef crafted seasonal recipes to their new fresh and fit summer menu. HelloFresh brings flavor right to your door. Did you know HelloFresh offers more than just delicious dinners? It's now easy than ever to skip that extra grocery store run by adding snacks, sides, and more to your weekly order. Simply shop HelloFresh Market and take your pick from a curated selection of over 100 items. So I talk about HelloFresh every week, girl. It's the best. I personally, now that they have vegan recipes, I'm super excited because I was kind of veganizing the other ones, but now it's super easy. I don't even have to do it. I don't have to go to the grocery store, which if you're like me and you hate going to the store, that's a plus. They also, like I said, they have snackies on there. So I literally, I don't, what do I need to go to the grocery store for? I don't. And I love, like I always talk about how fast and easy the recipes are. As someone who wishes that she could live her true Ratatouille lifestyle, I'm just not that girl. It takes too long and I want something that's fast and easy. And that's exactly what HelloFresh is. So you can go to HelloFresh.com slash 2IdiotGirls50 and use code 2IdiotGirls50 for 50% off plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash 2IdiotGirls and use code 2IdiotGirls50 for 50% off plus free shipping. So I love you and I'll see you next week. Bye. Doesn't what the fuck? So then uh, my mom was like, give me your folder. So she's like pulling everything <laughs> out. She's like helping him organize. Like, like turn, all his missing assignments. Yeah. Turn these shit. ones in the tomorrow and then this one to this teacher. And she's like, what is this? And so we never had classes that did this, but in his class. I did. You would do binder checks? Yeah, I, I had oh, that. Oh, wait, I did it in middle school. Oh, wait, okay, yeah, I did do it in middle school. I had that in um, honors biology, which is like a big reason why I stopped taking uh, honors science courses in high school. Yeah. Anyways. Anyway, so um, they she finds his binder check like rubric and she's like, you got like zero out of 100 points. Like, how is that even possible? <laughs> so she's looking at it and she's like, why did you uh, like get this? He's like, well, you know, my teacher wrote this. Like he, my teacher graded this. Really? He goes, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah, I know. Explain I'm going to explain though. it. So okay. he's going, no, Miss Itchy uh, graded that. <laughs> Her name's not Itchy, but it rhymes with Itchy. Yeah. So she go, yeah. he goes, no, Miss Itchy graded that. She goes, oh, really? Miss Itchy wrote that the date is awesome. <laughs> so like on the top where it says like student name and date, someone wrote awesome. He goes, oh no, my friend wrote that. <laughs> and she goes, your friend graded this? And he goes, yeah. And she goes, some friend he fucking wrote messy he wrote gave he wrote, zero he wrote fat ugly bad markings <laughs> yeah. He like, yeah he gave him zeros he's like messy unorganized doesn't have all his work in yeah, here she's all some fucking friend he yeah, gave you an he f he didn't even lie for you and then he, but he was like lying to my mom and telling her that the teacher's the one who graded that yeah. and then she goes oh really she did Oh really? And he goes, Miss yeah. Wrote that and then the she goes, awesome. she wrote that the date is awesome because <laughs> he literally wrote out awesome, and it was filled out in pencil, like, and it was like spelled like A W E S U M, like it wasn't even spelled out properly. <laughs> so sometimes we'll say that. Oh, really? did Miss Itchy said that the date was awesome? Did when that happened, I was still in college, so I was still living in Hawaii. And Dason literally called me and she was like, dude, I have the funniest story to tell you about. And I was then. right. It was and she really told me funny. that whole story. And literally for like a fucking year, we kept going. Like if someone was like, what was the, what's the date? We'd be like, oh, it's awesome. Oh, I think Miss Itchy said the date was awesome. I think it's awesome. Last time I checked. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but it sounds like today's going to be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> So that's another Donnie Dumps bit for y'all that follows him to this day. Because it's so funny. Yeah, it is. I wanted to note something to you. Did you see on messages, like on your phone, mm -hmm. you can mark them as unread? As far as like texts? Yeah, like you open a yeah, text. Yeah, I knew that. I didn't know you could mark them as unread. Yeah, I knew that. That doesn't mean that like if your read receipts are on and if they are, what's wrong with you? Yeah. If you're... uh if they're on though it still tells them if you read it no i know I don't <laughs> the, the unread thing is just for you no i know but i'm saying i didn't know you could do that on yeah. um what's it called on iphone yeah yeah it doesn't help me i don't remember to respond at all i do that i i gotta keep track i like leave i leave them unread on purpose i'm like okay i'm gonna respond to that and i fucking don't i don't know what's wrong with me okay so by the way y'all i am drinking oh 
I'm drinking a Zoa that, today. That flavor is crazy. And this is the tropical punch. tropical punch flavor. And it's Fire Flames Fuego, if I'm being honest. It's it really good. It tastes like Tiki Punch. It tastes like Fruit Punch, but it's not too sugary. Obviously, there's no sugar in it at all. So that's nice. Because, you know, like, you want to have Hawaiian Punch. Um, but it gives you choro? Yeah, you want to have Hawaiian Punch, but you don't want to blow out your own asshole. Yeah. Might I suggest <laughs> Zoa Tropical Punch flavor? Episode sponsored by Zoa. It, this could be you. <laughs> Me to Zoa. This could be your life. I drink a watermelon poppy and I don't like this flavor. <laughs> it tastes like watermelon. Zoa. Can you let believe us that? Know. <laughs> kind of weird. I don't know. Everyone's uh, really gearing up for poppy lately. I've been no. seeing a lot of it on Ollie Pops. TikTok. No, I've been seeing lots of poppies. Really? On TikTok. Yeah. Those are so good. It was the Ollie Pops that were kind of a hit or miss. Yeah. I'm going to stick to this in real soda. <laughs> but that's just me. Opinion. Aspartame. Yeah. Yeah. No, but I like these. That good old aspartame. <laughs> Nothing like it. Wait, I do have an update on the balls taste like avocado theory. Oh, people were telling me actually the tweet said clean dick tastes like avocado. Does that make more sense to you? No, I figured as much. It's all the same. I, I know the dick. As much. I know the dick and balls are different, but like it doesn't fucking matter if it's washed with soap. It should taste like fucking soap. Are you washing your you're washing your dick and balls and cock and shaft and penis? You're washing that with avocado slices. <laughs> it's starting to sound like it because so many people in the <laughs> comments are saying mm, you're wrong. It does taste like avocado. What kind of fucking avocados are you eating, bitch? Like I told you, I don't want to know. I'm starting to get scared. I would know. This feels like a Black Mirror episode. Having had, but I having, having had both of my mouth, I can confidently tell you that they don't taste like fucking avocados. That's just not real, guys. And if they do, something's, why? Something's wrong. Are they using a scrub or something on there? Like, I don't know what you'd be doing in the shower. <laughs> They're using that, like, avocado serum from, like, Glow Recipe. Yeah. <laughs> They're doing a mask. <laughs> <laughs> a fucking peel. I was like, what are you doing? An exfoliating. Saying? Then they're writing even. What the hell are you <laughs> saying to me? What the hell? That's <laughs> what <laughs> like, everyone's saying in the comments. Now they're writing other things. Someone said can <laughs> pancake batter, which I don't know why you're eating that. Tastes like coom. What are your thoughts there? Pancake <laughs> batter? <sighs> What the hell are you even saying to me? That's you guys are really starting to piss me off. Like, <laughs> I feel like we're being gaslit. Like you're, you're, I, Don't you're, you feel like that? <laughs> you're for real starting to piss me you're off. You're gaslighting bitch. me into silence. Pancake ba <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck, dude? I'm going to pull up some of the comments because I feel like you think I'm exaggerating. No, I believe you. I'm just like, Who's I find... Who's following us that they're saying that? Who the hell are you fucking that their cum tastes like pancake batter? What is it like the consistency of pancake batter? What the hell? What the hell are you saying to me? <laughs> what the hell are you even saying Speaking to of, me? I think you should leave. Me and Dason have been saying that a lot. Dude, that's a, that's a new funny. rotation. And I told you, every time he's in something and he doesn't understand, <laughs> he goes, what the hell? <laughs> Like, even during the, the courtroom scene, he says that a lot. What the hell are you even... I start, like, putting all of you on right now. Yeah. Pancake batter is so weirdly similar tasting to coom. What are your thoughts on that? That you hate it? I mean, like, that's closer than avocado. But, like, <laughs> it's just flavorless. Like, for the most part. Like, I know cum has a flavor, but it's not, like lemon you know what i'm saying it's not like, <laughs> like lemon lime or anything like that there's no like legitimate flavor to it it's got like a saltiness like, to i it. wish i knew what you guys were even saying i don't even i don't even what know what the hell are you even saying yeah, that's like, how i feel listening to y'all this person wrote it's clean dick not balls I honestly understand it, but I also get the soap part too. Clean dick tastes like plain avocado. No, what? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, sorry. I thought you meant guacamole. <laughs> now I'm I thought you meant green salsa. I thought you meant salsa verde. I know what the fucking avocado <laughs> tastes like. I thought you meant pico de gallo. What the <laughs> fuck? I know. What Ugh. the? You guys, be so serious. Be serious for once in your life. Please. For once in your life, take something seriously. I just don't understand me getting like actually angry because I can't believe you're spreading these lies. 
They're just right That's in what you said you here? understood what I meant about soap. Like, clean dick tastes like fucking soap. Like, that's what it tastes like. No, literally. Like, and then dirty dick tastes dirty. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's just no, no in between. dirty dick tastes like the Grimace shake. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. I did want to update you guys that apparently the tweet said clean dick, which, I don't know, to me it means the same thing, but that's okay. I literally had avocado in a bean salad. Yesterday. Yesterday. And it doesn't taste like that. Like, you're fucking insane. You're insane. I don't even... That's what I'm saying. I don't even know what you're saying. What the hell are you even saying to me? (laughs) Okay. And on that note, we'll go into these beige flags. So we're doing a part part two. two. Wow, look at that. Part dose. Should we harmonize one more time? No. Okay. So this is part two (laughs) of beige flags. Um... There are just so many in here. And some of them, I think, are red flags, but that's okay. <laughs> that's why it's a beige flag. Yeah, that's true. Okay, this first one's from Emily. She said um, she created an entire unique written code language so that she can write smutty short stories without anyone knowing. I love it, but it also really scares me. Okay. <laughs> code? Unique written code language. <laughs> you know what I thought of? What? You, remember, you know, in the first or no, the second Transformers, when he keeps like seeing those like <laughs> symbols. <laughs> I'm just picturing What's you, his name? Sam. Sam. I'm just picturing <laughs> you like seeing all that and be like. <laughs> <laughs> And it's literally like, it's like dirty shit about like Harry Styles or something. You know what I mean? Like, (laughs) dude, okay. You know that when it's like the code was like put in his brain or whatever the fuck, like the map to find it. It was like downloaded into his brain. (laughs) You know that, you know the, the filter on TikTok? I've done a video with it where it's like the table of people. Yeah, yeah. So I saw someone saying I'm stopping when I haven't read a fan fiction about them. Or I, when I have, I think. Okay. And I've watched people do it. They're, it was pretty weird. Well, and they also could be lying, but. It just makes me laugh. Yeah. I haven't thought about fan fiction in so long. Me too. And I don't want to. I need to live in reality, guys. I'm sorry. I have to. I have and to. And that's that's truly because I just like, I can't. Like, I can't get roped into that world. I have to. What was I saying that about recently? For my own sake, I have to live on my life on earth. I'm sorry. Yeah, there was something that I was like, I literally can't get into that. Because if I do, like, who knows where my brain will go? Like, I I can't. Um, I have, I have, I have like, too many things to do in the real world. Yeah. To, like, be taken away. No, it's true. I would just say, like, that's how I feel about K-pop in the sense that, like, I don't have the time to dedicate. Sure. Because I feel I will develop an obsession of some kind. There's and so just, many groups. I just don't it have used time. used to be just BTS for like a little bit. Well, they were the only ones that were like popular here. Mainstream no, here. No, no, yeah. but obviously they have like Blackpink, but now there's like TXT. There's so many of them. I know. Um. Anyways, I just don't, I haven't read fan fiction in a minute. Mm. I can't afford, I don't have the time to dedicate. That's the only reason yeah. I can't venture down those paths. I feel that. But yeah, like your secret code, that's why I'm like, you're like, <laughs> Sam, whatever the fuck his name is. Wait, Wiki. Who's that? Wait, it? Wiki, yeah. yeah. And it's like Dude, that's so funny. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, this next one's from Grace. She said And you're writing five sauce smut. <laughs> Can you fucking imagine? Not even. It's always about like Matthew Gray Goobler or some shit. Like criminal it's minds like people. Fucking, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> What's that one with the blue fucking phone booth? Oh, um, Doctor Who? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whoever the fuck's in those movies or show in that yeah. show they've done movies before i think have they mm-hmm. i don't know i don't follow the lore but me either okay this next one's from grace she said for some reason my boyfriend always has smudges and fingerprint oils on his glasses it doesn't give me a visceral body ick but it annoys the fuck out of me like how the hell do you go throughout your day and not notice how greasy your glasses are he only wipes them or cleans them when i point it out and drew's making that face because when she wears glasses, that's what her glasses look like. Listen, as we've established already, I have very little time. And my vision is so poor that it doesn't bother me. Like I have scratches and smudges all over my glasses and I don't, I'm not proud of it, (laughs) but it's like, I wear them all the time. I wear them outside. I wear them inside. I fall asleep in them. You know what I mean? Like Mm -hmm. they're just constantly being used. I feel like people 
unless they wear their glasses, like when they leave the house, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't do that. Cause I wear contacts too. So like, I, I kind of like go between glasses and contacts all the time, just depending on my preference for the day. But like, I feel like people who wear their glasses all the time, like it's part of their look and everything. And then people who never wear their fucking glasses are the only people who like keep them really clean. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. But those of us who live in the margins don't do that because I'm like, I wear them all the fucking time, especially at home, Mm -hmm. but I never wear them outside because I get hot. I wear makeup and glasses dent my makeup and they also make me sweaty and hot. I once described to Billy, I'm like, when you wear sunglasses outside, like, do you ever feel like you're suffocating? Like you have like something it's hot enough to your yeah. face. That's how I felt in Florida. Or I was like, I'm just not gonna wear them anymore. Yeah. And he was like, I'd rather not no. be able to see. He told me like, no. And I was like, I sometimes like, I get even hotter when I have sunglasses on. I'm like, That's I have to true. take these off. Yeah. And like, you know why? Cause we have really dry eyes. So I need wind around them. <laughs> yeah. That's hereditary. I just got big ass eyes, dude. So, I mean, and Billy. Okay. So Billy has this weird thing that we recently like have noticed. It's like a pattern, but especially cause it's summer. So when we go from the inside to the outside and it's like a stark change from like normal lighting to like the brightest sun, his eyes, like he like can't see anything and his eyes, like they water really bad and he like literally can't keep them open and they hurt. So he needs to wear sunglasses or a hat. Maybe he's a vampire. Right. You know what I said? I was like, I told him, I was like, my theory is that because you have hooded eyes. I was going to say it's that. I was like, I, I think because you have hooded eyes, your eyes are are like not as exposed to that much sunlight. So like when you. When they are. When they are exposed to a yeah. high amount, like bright sunlight and stuff. Like maybe that's why it like fucks you up a little bit. Yeah. That's my theory, but I don't know. I don't even remember what the fuck we were talking about. Oh, smudge glasses. Yeah, well. When I see someone say that, what do you think? You're better than me. (laughs) Billy hates that my glasses are always smudged too. If that makes you feel any better. Or if I'm like, do you want to wear my sunglasses? Cause he like forgot his. He's like, are they all dirty? (laughs) So fucking rude. Hey, you know what? I changed my mind. Fucking look in the sun. I don't care. Yeah, I hope your eyes hurt for the rest of the day. (laughs) (laughs) I hope it's too bright for you outside. (laughs) Okay. This next one's from Lizzie. She said, he always asks me to pick a show or movie, which is so nice. But without fail, it turns off in two minutes because he doesn't like it. He says it's too boring if nothing exciting has happened. So he always ends up picking something himself. But that's okay because I always end up falling 15 minutes into watching it. Like falling asleep? Yeah, sorry. Falling asleep. Well, that's annoying. (laughs) On both ends. Yeah. Well, for you mostly. Like, I'll tell you what. It really, uh, when Billy goes, what do you want to eat? And I go, mm, what about this? And he goes, I don't want to eat that. Why'd you ask me? Yeah. Hey, why'd you ask me? Let's get some options going. Yeah. And then I'll, I'll Why pick. don't you provide me with your approved list and then I'll <laughs> pick from there. How about that? <laughs> like they love, <clears throat> uh, and by they, I mean like terrible men. They love that stupid fucking joke about like how women can't decide what to eat or Which whatever. I don't get, but okay. I don't get that either because- I'm telling you women will be like, I don't know. What do you want? Right. Yeah. And then you don't have an answer either, bitch. So I guess we're both equally annoying because mm-hmm. they never have an answer either. They fucking swear. Like they come with you with like, this sounds good. This sounds good. This sounds good. Which one of those sounds good to you? They're just like, what do you want? And then you say, I don't know. What do you want? <laughs> Bitches can't make up their minds. Not even about food. No, or you go, oh, I want to eat Chipotle. And they go, I don't want to eat that. <laughs> yeah, that's Billy. <laughs> <laughs> but that's like, he knows that now about me though. So he'll ask me what I'm in the mood for. Yeah. And then if I tell him, he goes, "Mm, I don't think I really want that, but I'll get you that if that's really what you want. You guys are crazy for eating two different places. I said, I'm not kidding. I, I try really hard not to. Cause I I just like like it. Cause I want to eat together. Yeah. I feel like it's different when we eat at different restaurants, but like some, even though you're both eating at home together. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, Even though we're sitting, even though we're sitting next to each other. Yeah. Um, one day I was like so hormonal and so tired. And like, so I basically every day, <laughs> yeah, just kidding. <laughs> so ever, so yesterday, <laughs> uh, and I had been working all day. Mm-hmm. And so I really wanted one particular restaurant. Okay. You know, the restaurant can't I, say the I name. I do know the one. Yeah. <laughs> I was just going to ask you, does he eat there? No, this food. Has, he does. He does though. Sometimes, but this like, restaurant no. has the most mid like food. Wrong. Ever. It's gross. Wrong. Wrong. Are you going to eat there today? Maybe. See where the wind takes me. Okay. So they have but also like it's Italian food. Mm-hmm. 
And when I'm overwhelmed, stressed, depressed, sad, whatever the fuck, or just tired, I just love spaghetti, like just plain spaghetti. I'm cool with it. And I put my little hot sauce in there and it's mm-hmm. delicioso. Anyways. You put the trough in there? I haven't yet, no. Probably be really good. Yeah, I always put sriracha or some sort of spicy something or other in there. Anyways, um, that night he was like, well, let me get you that and then I'll get something else. And I was like, no, I want to eat together. And then I was like, and then I literally started crying because I was on my fucking period. And I was like, I just really would like to eat together. <laughs> And then he was like, why don't you go ahead and lay down and go to sleep and I'll get something for you. And I was like, okay. So I fell asleep and he just got me what I wanted. And then he ordered something from there too because he knew how badly I wanted to eat together. (laughs) But that's so fucking dumb. I didn't care. But like very few times do we get different things. Most of the time we find something in the middle. But I get how annoying that can be, especially with shows. Yeah. That's why my suggestion, watch the same four shows. (laughs) It's not even over four, and over and two. over again. <laughs> or now three. No, it's like The Office, New Girl, Modern Family, yeah. Family Guy. Oh, that's true. Yeah. But Family Guy, we don't really watch that much, to be honest. But Modern Family just restarted it back on season two. We we were at the end of season 11, back on season two. I just restarted. And then I watch, we watch them and I'm like, I don't even remember this episode, <laughs> even though I just watched all 11 <laughs> seasons like a month or two ago. Okay, this next one's from Chelsea. She said, Mm -hmm. my husband's beige flag is that after he works out, he pretends he's too buff to fit through the doorways in the house. (laughs) And then I have to be super impressed before he comes into the room. He's a wonderful man other than this oddity. Also, we both love you so much. That's so sweet. First of all, love you both. Dang. Second of all, that's hilarious. (laughs) That is so fucking... I love a silly fucking bit like I know. that. Like that shit is so funny so to me. So funny. <laughs> it's like I have to act impressed, otherwise <laughs> he won't come in the house. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. I love that. That's so funny. I'm trying to think if I we do anything similar to that. Not that I can think of. You wouldn't share it even if you did. That is true. We do we do weird shit like that, but that's something I'll never share with other people. But something silly or funny like that, I would. Yeah. But I don't think I'm trying to think of like something that equates to that. No, because that's like acting and Billy would never pretend. to. No, but I would. Oh, that's why I said I would share it. Oh, about something you do. Yeah. Like if it was something acting like that. Yeah. No, Billy wouldn't. do. But he does make like he does stupid jokes like that all the time, which make me laugh. But I was I just thought of one that was kind of similar Oh, I guess it's not really the same, but I do this with you too, but I started it with Billy like years ago, but like the fashion show at lunch thing. Oh yeah. If you guys remember, um, the office, the office, like when Pam orders new clothes to the office and then she's befriending Kelly cause she's like on her single girl shit. And then Kelly's like, Oh, you have to do a fashion show at lunch. <laughs> and then she's like, oh, I don't know. She's like fashion show, fashion show fashion show at lunch that's what she says and then she does the fashion show at lunch <laughs> anytime me and billy buy new clothes or anything we always, I always go fashion show fashion show and then um i always make him try everything on and like come and model it yeah um, like when the day and before, i do the same thing the day before we went to coachella alex was here and we were at, yeah we were sick seeing fashion show together <laughs> <laughs> it's just it helps a lot it's fun helps with the vibes Okay, this next one's from an anonymous person. Okay. But I personally think this is a red flag, so I don't okay. I feel like there's confusion on what a beige flag is. All right. So she put in here, he will put his boogers on his sock when there's no tissue. Do you think that's like while he's wearing them? Either way. <laughs> What's going on? And I guess I'm curious, do you find that funny? Like, do you laugh alongside? Like, compare that to the one right before. Her husband's being silly after the gym. It's a bit. Next one. Put my boogers on myself. I'm going to be honest with you. That disgusts me. (laughs) That makes me sick. You know what it reminds me of? The booger chair. I know. Well, that's my point. Like, and honestly, I think, I always think, like, how many do you have to do for it to become a thing? Like, a known fact to your partner. Yeah. Yeah. That you wipe boogies on your sock. Like, 
I don't like, like, do they tell you that they're like, Oh, when I don't have a tissue, I just be wiping it on my sock. Like, do they just share that information with you? Do you watch them do it? I don't know. And then bring it up later. Like, I mean, as long as you're happy, <laughs> that would make me really unhappy personally. But like, <laughs> If I love them enough, like I would tell them, but also, yeah. also I, that makes, also makes me want to scream and run in the other direction. So I'm very torn emotionally listening to that story. There's a lot going on right there in so many little words. Well, that's why I said, like, did you bring it up? And he was like, yeah, you know what I mean? Or like, did he just tell you, like, I'm just so curious, like how y'all came to the consensus that like, that was cool enough to, to not be a deal breaker. I don't know. I don't know where that that begins. I don't know where it ends. You know what? If you ever like want to break an obsession with a man, thinking about shit like that works like a charm for me. Yeah. Like even, and, and something that, that like specific doesn't even have to be the case. Like if I just think hard enough about them being annoying, like that will turn anything off. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, it's like an ick. Yeah. yeah like mm -hmm. a bit. Yes. But like, it's just, it, it goes beyond an ick. Like, it's something that makes me feel so visceral. Oh, like, gross. Because yeah. some icks, like, you're like, okay. Like, like when we were saying the girl walking behind her boyfriend when he was walking down the hill. <laughs> on, on, like, that was a big ick for her. Or him swimming or the, in a pool. Or riding the horse. Yeah, like, swimming that's, in a pool. That's, yeah, swimming in a pool. Like, that's silly and funny and wouldn't make me want to break up with you. <laughs> when that girl was showing pictures of her boyfriend scuba diving. <laughs> Like, that's so funny. And, like, yeah. if that happened with Billy, like, it would be a super ick, but it would make me laugh. Yeah. And it wouldn't make me want to scream and run in the other direction. That's true. But, like, when I think about something like that, that makes me want to scream and run. So, like, um, oh, like, Timothy Chalamet. Okay, People like okay. him, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, that's what the kids like, right? <laughs> um, Yeah, like, think about him. Okay. And... Like he's watching a sports game, which we talked about already. And he in one says, episode. "Let's fucking go." Yeah, but he goes like, but he like screams, like he's like, "Let's fucking go!" Yeah, like he's like, "Let's go!" All right, baby. All right, Ew. baby. Let's do it. <laughs> Doesn't that make you want to kill yourself? Because like, Ugh, not me. Me and my man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Not me because I like boobs. boobs. Butts. Beer, butts, and beer, beer. and pizza, sports, and sports. Five. The three B's, boobs, butts, and beer. <laughs> <laughs> like, let's go, baby. Dude, I wish for the life of me, I wish I could find that tweet. Or I can't remember if it was on Twitter or if it was on Tumblr. But yeah. it was like me imagining my future. My husband's in the living room watching the cowboy oh, game. Oh, was it the T ball one? No. Where it's like they I I'm making I'm making like honey wings. Oh my god, I'm literally short circuiting because <laughs> it, but I'm making buffalo wings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and, and he comes in and, and he slaps squeezes my, my ass. butt. Yeah. <laughs> and he says it's your turn next in beer pong. And our kids are in the backyard playing with our Oh, oh my god, dude. I wish for the life of me I could find it. Dude. That's my nightmare. That's like my literal fucking nightmare. Like, Do you guys remember that? Holy fuck, dude. And it was like, I can't wait for the day that he runs in. I'm making buffalo chicken dip. Yeah. And, yes. our, kids, and our, kid, our kids are swimming. And our best friends who also have kids around the same age are like, he go he runs up and he goes, babe, it's your turn. And squeezes to, my ass. Yeah. And he slaps my ass and says, I'll take care of you later or some shit like that. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. And I'm yelling at my kids, oh. <laughs> Bradalyn and Caitlyn. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, dude. I'll kill myself on camera. Oh my God. Like for real. I'm going to find it. We're going to, I'm going to make it the bio of two idiot girls. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait for the day, dude. Oh. I can. <laughs> I'll get old and gray and wrinkled before that day. I'll tell you that much. Dude, I don't even know what to type in to find it. <laughs> like stupid meme a stupid life goal or whatever. I just can't wait for the day and I go what am I doing? <laughs> you guys please find it and send it to us on Instagram yeah I know y'all know the one please. I know y'all know the one because when Drew moves I'm gonna print it out and frame it and hang it in her office <laughs> please it's so bad bro please think about <sighs> like you're telling me that that doesn't ick you out bro like to the point where you're like <laughs> Ew, attraction dead. That's a good ick. Like he sends that to me and goes, us. Us. Literally us. Yeah. Literally me when I. Yeah. 
No, because that's funny. If he texts you that, that'd be funny. No, but what if he's being serious? Then I'd be like, then it's not funny. I'm gonna block then it. Then it's a hate crime. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I hate it. Then it's an attack. <laughs> yeah. Then it's then it's an act of aggression. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This next one's from Kara. Okay. She said, my boyfriend eats cereal every single night before bed. <laughs> Dude, it what? It doesn't matter what we had for dinner, what time it is, or how early he has to be up the next day. He cannot go to bed without his little bowl of Cheerios. Oh. He'll even lay there trying to sleep and will announce me at 1 a.m. that he's going to have his bowl of cereal. <laughs> <laughs> we can't ever let the pantry go unstocked. Incredible. That's that's crazy. <laughs> that is very strange, but very funny. I don't know if I have anything that I have to do before I go to bed. No, not Besides, me. like regular stuff, like brush my teeth and wash my face. Yeah. And even then, I don't wash my face every time. I do brush my teeth, though. Don't be gross. But <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to think. Actually, the only thing I have that is equitable to that is the me having to eat salty last yeah. That is the only thing I have that's like that. Like, I cannot end on sweet. I just can't. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Maybe me and your boyfriend have the same thing going on Yeah, mentally, I mean, mine is like, like I have to eat in even bites. So, like, if I'm eating, yeah. like, gummy worms, I have to eat two And I know time. y'all are going to try to diagnose us. Please don't. No. But, like, uh, like, literally when... um. We on, on Fourth of July, like, like, like yeah, we're like we don't celebrate that holiday, but we all just hung out. And um, when we had drumsticks, like I got drumsticks for dessert, and fire, love a dr- good drumstick. That's such a great summer dessert. It <laughs> is. It's so easy, and yeah. it's like such it's vibes. It's you know not messy. I mean? yeah, yeah, it's so easy to eat too. What's so, your like, favorite part of the drumstick? The very last the bit chocolate part. of the cone. Yeah, hell yeah, it's the best part. And uh, I ate that so yummy. And then I literally, I was like, I was like, oh, I think I'm okay. Like I was, I've been trying to see if I can like decondition myself. I waited probably like two minutes and I was like, I have to eat something. So I literally took one bite of bean salad and then I was good. <laughs> <laughs> I literally can't dude. I just can't. It's like so I literally irritating. can't. I like, like uh, later on that night. Cause like I didn't really eat that much mm-hmm. like actual food. So like later on that night, me and Billy got Subway. That's like our new thing right now. Dude, Subway. I, Spencer loves Subway. That I do know about her. Yeah. Yeah. Ask Spencer, ask Spencer how many times they ordered Subway at VidCon. <laughs> I said, girl, you're keeping them in business. What the fuck? They should make you a frequent flyer. <laughs> she, she was so, Zaya thought that was so funny. <laughs> I was like, you're keeping them in business, girl. Um. Anyways, that's been our new thing. Uh, we've been getting Subway. What do you get? Something gross? No, I get like a turkey sandwich with like gross all the little fixins. That's gross. Came as vegan. I can't eat there. They go. I can make you a veggie salad or a veggie sandwich. Don't. Yeah. Take your money and go elsewhere, <laughs> and I'll be at Subway. <laughs> Don't they make pizzas right now? Yeah, they do. Um, Why is everyone? But they have pizzas? those. They have those white chocolate raspberry cookies fucking fire if you've never tried them fucking try i literally made billy try them and he loves them too so good i know so what billy always orders them when we get subway but then if they don't have them he's got a dozen no he just gets like he gets six so like he gets three and i get three but i never eat all three yeah eat like two and then he eats them but um when he does when they don't have it they just put a fuck ton of cookies in there that are not like last night they didn't have them so they gave us literally like 20 cookies that were not those ones. What? So it's almost like they're about to close. So they're just like, mm-hmm, just they're put like them on reason. Yeah. Like, yeah, but they had chocolate chip in there, which were good. And then they had like a double chocolate white macadamia nut one. Ooh. Like that one was pretty good. But yeah. anywho, my point being, I had two cookies and then I was like, okay, I'm pretty sleepy. So I might lay down now. Like after I was done eating. And then I was like, well, and then I literally went to my, uh food and i got like there was one more chip at the bottom of my bag so i ate it because i just had to finish on i know we were somewhere recently and you're like oh my gosh what am i gonna have for my salty part after i'm all i don't know and i don't (laughs) like if you ever eat with me at a restaurant and like the only reason i'm telling y'all this is because you may never eat with me at a restaurant (laughs) but like if you'll see like if let's just say there's like dessert to be had right (laughs) yeah if i'm eating my meal i'll literally eat almost all of it this includes breakfast like if i have like pancakes Mm -hmm. and i always leave just a tiny bit 
And then I have to pretend I'm still eating it. Otherwise they'll clean my plate. Learn that <laughs> lesson. <laughs> so like I have to like still fit in it. And then I'll eat my sweet thing. And then I finish with that last piece. Cause I like just can't, I just can't. You're ridiculous. <laughs> and my family eats quick. So like, I can't rely on them if I eat we my do salty. We eat pretty quick. Yeah. <gasps> you know what it was? We went to that barbecue thing. Okay. And we were eating like sweets on the way out. And you were like, what's going to be my salty snack? That's right. That's and then right. Billy was like, get out of the, let's go to the fucking car. And you were like, I just, I need one. I did. You didn't get one, huh? I think I did. I think I had Donovan get me something. <laughs> so just one. That's why I'm always like, just give me one chip. That's, That's all I need. But anyways, I'm like your boyfriend that needs to eat cereal every night. That's me with my, I have to end on salty. But I think when I brought that up the first time, a lot of y'all said that you, you've you experienced something similar, which makes me feel a little bit better. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this next one's from Kat. She said, my partner's beige flag is that if I reference a bit or inside joke, usually from this podcast with her <laughs> in conversation, she'll go along with it, even though she doesn't know what I'm talking about because she doesn't want to be embarrassed or stop the flow of conversation. And it pisses me off. <laughs> Just make sure you saying a joke from here like working it into conversation and she goes, yeah. And then you're like, do you even know where that's from? <laughs> Immediately mad. <laughs> you don't even know where that's from. And then they you? kept saying, I'm really looking forward to cracking up. I guess what you could say I, oh, about me in general is that I'm really looking forward to cracking up. And she goes, oh, no, she goes, yeah. And then you're like, you don't even know where that's from, do you? <laughs> <laughs> just like vibe changes instantly. And then Kat also put in here, her partner said that her beige flag, so Kat's beige flag, mm -hmm. is that I've never finished a book in my life because I read all the way up until the end and I get too attached and I don't want it to end. So I just read the last few pages. Just like me for <laughs> real. I don't do that with books necessarily, but I do stop reading them if they don't go the way I want them to. <laughs> I give up because I'm like, I know where this is going. I, I predict the end. I don't want to read it. I'm out. I feel that. And then... uh. I do that with movies. Like if I'm watching a movie and it has a very interesting plot um, and I'm scared about how it will end, I'll look it up while I watch. I don't do that. I, I go, do that all the time. I go on IMDb because I'll be like, I know that guy. He's from this. And then I'll go look it up. I do that too. Like I was, we watched Tarzan yesterday, one of my favorite Disney movies. Mm -hmm. And Tarzan is played by Tony Goldwyn, who's in, who's like the, plays the president in Scandal. Oh, really? Yeah. Isn't that crazy? That is weird. What's his name? Fitz or whatever? Yeah. That's crazy. Good on ya. Yeah, that's him. Pretty crazy if you think about it. That is strange. Remember when I talked about <laughs> Tarzan on this podcast? And I oh, was talking the, about the live action one? Yeah, I was talking about the one with Alexander Skarsgård. Yeah. Yeah. And Margot Robbie. Yeah, she plays Jane. I don't know. I've never seen it. She does. Look it up. You made me look it up last time, so it's okay. I believe you. <laughs> well, my point in bringing that up is when I when I told you, like, Billy said he, it was so illogical and so not true that he didn't want to watch it anymore. Because he fights like a bear or some shit, right? A gorilla, dude. Yeah. Well, anyways, yeah, that one, like, to get back in the good graces of his monkey um, siblings, he literally fist fought <laughs> a silverback gorilla. And he gets slammed on the ground. And I told Billy, I was like, is that for real? And he goes, there's no way. What the hell are you even <laughs> saying to me? Like he was literally like his spine would crack in half. Like he was so annoyed at how not real the science was. Like he was like silverback gorillas could like rip your heart out of your fucking throat. No, like, like literally. They yeah. could literally rip your spine out from your fucking back. And there's just no way that he would fist fight a gorilla and like. You know, I don't know if you guys are big Tarzan fans, like the live action, the live action version. I haven't seen it. Yeah. I don't plan on it, but, <laughs> and Margaret Robbie but, was in it. Yeah. Okay. See, but that one scene, like that literally made him so upset because Billy loves animals and like knows so much about animals. He was like, that's so not realistic. <laughs> I'm like, he's a man who lives in the jungle. It's already not real. He goes, well, <laughs> Yeah. I don't know. Well, and he was even saying like, and this is like how like legitimate he took it, like how like annoyed he was at it is like Planet of the Apes, like the premise of those movies. Okay. He was saying is more realistic yeah. than that guy going 
hand, like bare knuckle boxing a silverback and surviving. Like he was saying Planet of the Apes is more realistic. No, than that. I know. Like, Which when, is actually, I think, believable. To when be honest. we went to Animal Kingdom at Disney World. Yeah. They had a gorilla sanctuary and I was so excited to yeah, see them. It's awesome. And they were far away, but we did see uh, like a mommy one. Mm-hmm. But there's this like bridge thing that you walk uh, like across and they can walk under you and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I was telling my dad, I don't know why there's no net or anything right here. Yeah, man. Those things, if they really wanted to <laughs> yeah I'm man. Not even joking, Tom. they could leap from over there and it's like it's really far mm-hmm. like the distance is pretty great but i was saying if they really wanted yeah like to. but if they were angry enough because it's like a huge drop in yeah. between which i think is what they're counting on to save yeah, but i just i don't know i just believe i believe like any sort of primate to be right there like in if they planet of the apes there's an orangutan that jumps off a helicopter Onto the Golden Gate Bridge. That's true. I honestly believe anything is possible. I just think if one animal could, like, if they really made the choice to, like, be the superior species, like, they could. There's a chimpanzee that I've been following on Instagram for the last, like, eight years of my life. And his name's Limbiani. And I think about him all the time. And my yeah. dream is to meet him. <laughs> That's unrelated to what That's we're talking about. That's my dream comment section. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's a chimp. Is that baby. And I want to hold him. As if I didn't see Nope. That was really scary. Okay, this one's from Celeste. She said, um, he always orders the same thing for breakfast at every establishment we go to. Breakfast special, bacon, scrambled eggs, and white toast. It never changes it. The server's put in his order before he even sits down at the restaurants he goes to regularly, and they never even bother giving him the menu. <laughs> he knows what he wants. He sounds a million years old. <laughs> like, doesn't that sound like such an old the man thing The eggs would have to, to be like, what do they call him? Over easy or Ugh. something. Yeah, that's like old people. I love a yolk, bitch. I so love gross. a runny egg. Yum, 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 yum. Dason's allergic to eggs, so she can't say anything. She's she's not allowed to comment gross. on eggs. That is so funny and also very uh, re- relatable. <laughs> yeah. It's like ordering this. That's me with a chicken sandwich. Like if there's that's a chicken, if there's a chicken sandwich and it's a new restaurant, I'm getting a chicken sandwich. Yeah. Before I became vegan, I would always get a grilled cheese at yeah. every restaurant. That's like Billy with calamari. Like if there's calamari <laughs> on the menu, he's getting it. If there's truffle in the flavor of anything, he's probably yeah. going to get that. Like, it's just like you like what you like. The fact that his order is exactly the same, though, is funny. Yeah. I love that. A man who knows what he wants. And honestly, like, and again, someone's going to diagnose me again. But like, I don't like trying new things because I'm sometimes I'm wrong. And then my whole meal's ruined. Well, nothing's worse than... Doing when you that. try to adventure out, when yeah. you try to venture out and then it's ass and then you're like telling yourself like, this is why I never try yeah. anything new. This is why, <laughs> yeah. this is why. Yeah. And That's honestly, it. like every time, like, especially when we first started dating me and Billy, he would always take me to new restaurants, different places all the time. And like, wow, really <laughs> cool. <laughs> hey, relax. <laughs> <laughs> like he would he would take me to different places I had never been before. Yeah. And like every every single time I tried something new that was not within the parameters of what I would probably like, mm-hmm. I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was bummed because I didn't like it and I don't want to send it back if I don't like it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Billy would always switch with me. <laughs> every time he switches with me. Switches meals with me. He switches drinks with me. Do you guys ever do like, let's just say we're all going to a new restaurant. So I'm there too. Okay. Let's just say we're in New York because that's the only place new restaurants exist. Yeah. They don't exist. And even then we still go to the same places. No, I know. But let's just say we're at a new restaurant. Okay. And you're, you get something and he gets something else, but you both want to, you're like, oh, I wish I could try that. Do you ever eat half and then switch? Yeah. Okay. We've done that, but we we don't even really eat half. Like he'll do that for me, or I'll tell him, "Do you want me to do that for you?" And he's like, "No, it's okay. I just want to try it." Yeah. So he'll just like try it, and I'll try his, and then that's it. Hmm. Um. But sometimes, yeah, sometimes he'll tell me, "You get this, and I'll get this, and then we can share." And I was like, "Oh yeah, that's a good idea." But it's it doesn't happen often. But like mm-hmm. when we do do that, we do that anyways. And if I even look even slightly bit like I don't like it, he switches with me no matter what. <laughs> so he's like I know. he does that for your food and i'll do it for your drink he does it for my drink all the time too but yeah well if there's alcohol in it he doesn't really true. drink so that goes not anymore but when we first were dating like and we would get like a drink if i didn't like it i always picked one that i didn't like and he would always be like you, you can have it that's why he's i think you sent me 
a TikTok that he sent me the same day. And it was, it was like POV. You're my boyfriend on every date we've ever been on. And it was <laughs> like her. your drink more. <laughs> <laughs> and then he takes my drink and I have his. Yeah, it was like a picture size toe where she's yeah, like, look yeah. at my drink. And then it comes to her and she goes, it doesn't <laughs> yeah. look like how I thought. The I know. Time. Billy was like, he sent it to me and then he texted it to me. And he was like, this is literally <laughs> you. See, that's me. Not the, like, I'm making buffalo chicken dip. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> you guys, please find that meme. You guys know it. You guys know please exactly me. what meme and what person <laughs> so, likes that kind of meme <laughs> like, but it wasn't even a meme it was supposed to be real i know it was made into a meme though please find it that's like you know who would laugh at that caleb and Brittany. yeah well you know what's funny is i know that meme itself um it's just like that meme i i saw where it was like a bunch of like tiktok dudes and they were all like they post like a thirst <laughs> trap and it's like they're all shirtless and being trying to be sexy yeah. And then they're like, you you get into a room with all of us. What you doing or whatever? Yeah. What you doing? And then someone retweeted it and wrote, "Killing myself in front of you to alter the trajectory of your lives." <laughs> like, what the fuck, dude? That's insane. Oh, uh, that's a good one. That's insane. Yeah, but yeah. Anywho, what was the? <laughs> What was the submission that we just read? The same oh, breakfast. Was, same breakfast. Yeah. I'm with him. He's on to something. Yeah. I tend to get the same similar things. Like, I, me I too. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, I feel like I've been with Billy for so long. I know, like, when he's, what he's going to get. Just like I know if there's potato skins, Jason's going to get that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's true. So, just like if there's, uh, for you say potato skins for me and you're like and for me if there's a caesar salad on there i'll get that that is true too <laughs> but also a chicken sandwich yeah my mom's a brussels sprouts me too my mom's getting it yeah um a meat that my dad can get as rare as possible my dad's getting it yeah just like if we're in hawaii and there's loco moco on the menu my dad is getting it and donnie a hamburger every time yeah and then a chocolate 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 triple chocolate dessert yeah. Every time. Because he needs dessert. He's like that, <laughs> yeah. that dude who eats the cereal. He, I'm not joking. You guys, <laughs> he has to end the day. His last meal of the day has to be dessert. So like if we get home from, from like Disneyland, which is what he did recently, we got home at like 11 p.m. He stayed up to eat Saimingi, which is ramen for you guys, if you don't know what that means. Yeah. He ate Saimingi and then he asked my dad if he could eat candy. My dad goes, it's 12 a.m. Go to bed. <laughs> yeah. He's it's- like, but I have to have dessert. My dad was like, please go to bed. <laughs> me but with the salty shit <laughs> it's like the opposite of me all right guys that's gonna do it for this week's episode of two idiot girls yes. if you enjoyed this one you can stream other episodes ever you can listen to podcasts and the video version is always on our youtube channel mm-hmm. we will have a new poll going up on our instagram probably later this week so make sure you look out for that yes. and i think we're gonna have a guest within the next couple of episodes we're trying to schedule it out yeah, don't worry. We're lining up the guests. But don't the guest worry. is going to be really, really funny. So think of the funniest person. They're always you, funny. Think of the funniest person you know who's not us. But other than that. You can't. <laughs> Just kidding. Wrong. But other than that, we hope you have a great week. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.